separate mums. I suppose the interesting thing is why focus on show business and why say would you encourage your child into show business. I don't think I would encourage my child into show business any more than I'd encourage them into accountancy. Or I think I might encourage them more into show business than accountancy. <laughs> I think it's a case of waiting to see what life presents you and should something come along uh, then I would obviously look at it and see if it was uh, good for us. I would hate to think it would be of any disadvantage with regards to their education or to the way that I'm bringing them up because I would like to think that I'm bringing up two decent human beings. We wouldn't force our children to do anything. No. There was no way that we would we would encourage our child into something they didn't want to do. On the weekend, I was reading an old magazine, and um, a mother is grooming her daughter for superstardom, and it was just crazy. All the things she was saying, um, she was saying, you know, she's just she's a superstar. She's going to be huge. She's she's just so amazing. She's so talented. Anyway, this woman gives her ten-year-old daughter what are they called? Eyebrow tattoos at home and Botox injections like this. So this 10-year-old girl goes to these auditions wrinkle-free. Can you imagine at 10? Mummy, can we go to the park? Mm, not liking that, not liking that. I want to be a supportive parent, and if either of our children expresses an interest in any career, I would like to give them opportunities and support them without being too pushy. I think it's really sad to raise a child telling them every single day that you will be a star, you will be a star. How about if they desperately, desperately wanted to be successful and weren't succeeding at it? How would we feel about it then? You will be a star, you will be a star. <coughs> I think you'd... In fact, this is me with a facelift and I have to say, I quite like it. Don't, don't comment on it, but it feels quite tight. Anyway. You'd try and be supportive and maybe try and be realistic and perhaps say, you know, what, what's your backup plan? In 10 years time, you'll be a star. Actually, bum, you're not a star. Uh, you're not going to be a star. That's pretty evident now. So we need a plan B. Plan B, plan B. Oh, well, actually, plan B. It's pretty simple. Just tart them up, send them off to a nightclub where the footballers go and they can be a wag. Ka-ching! Rip mums.